Welcome, everybody, to the Week 5 Blueberry UFL Power Rankings show. This is one of your hosts, Psych Trigodite. I am joined by regulars Durgan Hartunian and Dre Dwayne Quartz Piers. This week's special guest, no stranger to the league, Dante R. Blaze Montana the Fourth. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Doing great here. Good, good deal, good deal. All right, so you guys know the drill, and um, I will go ahead and tell you that you are want, going to want to start shooting IMs as quick as possible to Blueberry. Now, what happened? Oh, there's our other entourage. I, I put the camera on Blueberry, and I, I noticed we have a, a bunch of live studio guests today. Uh, we got Kareen and Arwen hanging out over there riding some footballs. So if you like the way that those footballs look, ladies and gentlemen, then you want to go ahead and start sending those IMs to Blueberry XX Resident, and she will send you a set, not one, but two of those footballs. You can see our lovely ladies over here displaying each of the animations that you could be reclining and enjoying the uh, the beauty that is UFL football in. So we're going to go ahead. Don't miss out, ladies and gentlemen. Here is last week's special gift. I don't know if you're going to be able to talk her into giving you last week's if you missed out or not. I'm going to leave that between you and Blueberry. But if you couldn't be here and missed it, maybe it's worth a shot. So uh, she is our wonderful sponsor for this show. So go ahead and start getting those IMs fired off to Blueberry XX Resident uh, in World, and she's going to hook you up. Okay, so a couple things about our show. These rankings, or excuse me, yeah, these rankings are not standings. They're not official, so don't take anything we say or do personally. They are not crazy enough to let us to decide who makes the playoffs or not. We're just spouting opinions, so don't go getting carried away if uh, if we don't like uh, where we rank your particular team. In fact, we more than welcome you to uh, over the course of the week post your own rankings how you think the teams rank 1 through 14 and uh, you never know we might see it we might be impressed we might invite you to guest one week uh, on our show so you can shoot the breeze with us so enough about that we're going to get to those rankings as they stand this week now I will preface it by saying this last week not a whole lot of movement. Only two teams swap spots, and literally they swap spots. One moved up, the other moved down. This week, not the case. It is like shake-up Saturday here uh, at the UFL Power Rankings, even though it's on a Tuesday. So I guess we could call it Tumble Around Tuesday uh, if we had to, <laughs> to give it a nickname. So, All right, Durgan, you have got our first grouping of teams. So take it away, my man. All right, thank you. Yeah, you, like you said, the first couple of weeks didn't see a ton of drastic change, but as we go, we're definitely starting to see some shifting around. That's starting right at the bottom of the list. Coming in after a second early season fourth due to personnel shortage, we have the Bulldogs dropping to an unfortunate 14th place over that. Uh, but rising to take that lucky number 13, we have the Cobras coming in from a 59-0 loss against the Mustangs on Saturday. We have the Packers maintaining their number 12 position on this bye week as they prepare for an upcoming match against the Eagles next weekend. The Falcons have slipped one spot to number 11 with a loss just yesterday to those Eagles, 42-6. to The Mustangs, meanwhile, have risen to number 10 after that aforementioned 59-0 showing against the Cobras. And the Patriots slipped two spots to number 9 on bye this week after a previous 58-17 loss to the Bills. Good. Yeah, I'll hand this off to Dre to pick up on number eight. All right. Thank you, Duggan. Actually, I'm going to start at number nine. Talk about musical chairs. The Patriots dropped down to number nine spot. Um, or you already said number nine, didn't you? You might have. I did. Anyway, number eight <laughs> is the Cowboys. talk about it again if you want. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, I, think you, I think you covered them good enough. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys coming to number eight, jumping up one spot. Uh, even, if, even on a bye week, record at one and two. Number seven, we got the Warriors who jumped up a spot on a bye week at a record of two and one. Uh, we've got, let's see, hold up. we've got the Yellow Jackets dropping one spot to number six after a loss to the Bills, 83 to 20. We've got the Eagles coming up to one spot to number five with a three and one record uh, after beating the Falcons, 42 to six. And I'm gonna actually. Uh, go in at number four with the Panthers dropping three spots after a devastating loss to the Titans last night, uh, 23-7. I'm going to pass it to Dante now to handle our top three spots, actually, because it's two, a two-way tie for second place. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, I think got I you. gotcha. Go ahead, Dante. Right, yeah, with the two-way tie between the Dolphins and Titans for um, this week's second place, um, with the Titans coming off the win versus the Panthers last night. Yep, yep. And who does that leave for number one? Then we got my team, the Bills, number one after coming off a, uh, a dominating performance uh, Saturday night versus Yellow Jackets. There you go. We told you there was some movement, ladies and gentlemen. Just about every one of those teams moved. Now, if you will, focus your attention. Not long, but just for a second, because that's about all it's going to take. If, uh, if Dante is going to be throwing a link for you there in the, uh, in the chat, I wanted to make it a little bit more interactive. And granted, it is just a little bit. But I'm, I've got, I'm giving you access to the uh, gizmo, as I like to call it around here. But as the normal folks do, Gyazo, uh picture that shows you all of the rankings. So if you would click that link, it should... Uh, if, if we're willing here, uh, technology abiding, it should be sending you to the screen that looks something like this, except for mine's still the Excel uh, word sheet. Yours should be like the actual website with all this on it. So you can see there's only two blank spaces over here in the movement columns. Only the Packers and Dolphins kept their spot, while you could even argue that the Dolphins, while they stayed there, um, not quite staying there as they are now sharing that space with the titans so a lot of action this week guys um so i will uh, i will open it up to uh to dante you're the you're the new kid on the block around here what jumped out about you about any any of our particular rankings did you see anything that you want to call us on or you, you just kind of like want your want our thoughts on um as i was looking at it uh, i don't see really anything that i could call you out on everything seems pretty you know fair to me to say I can't really uh, see anything that I'm actually shocked about. All right. What about our other hosts? I know they're going to give me some grief here. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, Psych, um, of course, was you know, we're going to talk about uh, you ranking the Panthers. Why did you rank them down to number five? Uh, after this week's performance uh i mean did you watch last night's game um my <laughs> I, I don't think i can give you a direct quote of of what i said it probably wouldn't be appropriate for our programming um i'll sum it up and say when you when you play and get handled like booty hole then then i rank you like booty hole and last night we uh, i will just go ahead and man right up and say that we got handled um in a way that i did not like and uh it, it was it was tough to tough to do you know um hats off to them you know they were they were the better team uh but yeah i just i mean and and i probably i may have made my rankings too close to the end of that game but i feel i still feel pretty good about that spot you know the next day um after sleeping on it a little bit um but but yeah i mean i, I don't feel like and, and I'll, I'll say this about my team to make it a little bit fair you know when we talk about some of my other ranking spots when you get handled like that you can't just drop a spot <laughs> you know you don't you don't you know get you know held the way that we got held down last night and just drop from number one to number two um I, you know i like this to be a a, a pretty reflective of, of actual effort and if you if you compare everything that happened um is my mic still working yeah you're good you're still there okay sometimes it it feels like it quit but um yeah you just i don't know you don't get handled like we did last night and stay at uh close to number one so i believe i dropped us to number five um whereas the reason i, I quit at that spot was that was uh, you know like the eagles who we just played and beat the week before i haven't forgotten that but um I, mean, yeah, I was gonna say well but they i mean the way they played they had they had their act together I, you know i'm not saying that they would have beaten us this past weekend but you know i I just feel like they were a team that has upward momentum, and right now we have downward momentum, and you know it just was enough for me to say, all right, we're gonna flip that, flip that flop. But no, that that wasn't. Yeah, I got you there. That wasn't actually my biggest drop. So, what else? What mm -hmm. else? No, it wasn't your biggest drop. Um, my next question, actually, I was gonna ask to a uh, Durgan. Uh, okay. Durgan, you know me. Well, actually, you and Dante really. Me and Sight kind of was on the same level with the Warriors at round number six. Um, what did you and Dante see, especially even on a bye week, that would drop the Warriors, you know, two and three spots that y'all did? Uh, you know, it really wasn't so much anything that we saw from them, per se. It was more, 
consistency in relation to the teams that were around him, I guess you could say. Um, I, we haven't really seen anything that, you know, warrants upward momentum, whereas we have seen other teams kind of coming out and performing. Um, and just kind of what I've seen from each team individually comparing their recent performances over the last few weeks, I still feel it's I still feel it's warranted to have them in that order with everyone else around them. All right, Dante. Uh, same question I asked Durgan to you. Uh, for me, um, kind of to piggyback off what Durgan said, uh, there were some teams that actually came out and played well uh, this past week, and I feel like with the way they've been playing, they could actually move ahead. And with the Warriors being on, as you said, a bye week, um, you know, maybe it'll change next week. Next week with the, uh, the ranking, but since they weren't a bye, they really had nothing to show. Fair enough. I'll I'll pipe one over to uh, to Durgan. All right. So much to my chagrin, I was never able once to say um, unanimous number one Panthers, and yet <laughs> this week you dropped the Dolphins from the number one spot in favor of the Bills. So go ahead and touch on that. What have you seen this past weekend that made you feel finally comfortable about relinquishing that number one spot from the Dolphins? Yes, that's a good point. Uh, you know, I, I did have to take a good hard look at the top four spots there. And as a disclaimer, you know, those top four spots are extremely close. It's the kind of close where, you know, the difference in a game is, is you know, a butterfly could flap its wings in the Amazon and the top four could rearrange. Uh, the teams and the differences in scores they have are just that close. But I saw a resurgence in the Bills the past two weeks that I didn't expect to see. Um, blowout games against the Patriots, against the Yellow Jackets. Uh, you know, those are teams that are well-known. They've got a dangerous game. And I've got a lot of respect for them. You know, lose or not, you don't expect to see a blowout on those teams. Not like that. And, you know, coming off of a couple of lower scoring wins at the start of the season, the Bills are finding that scoring potential that I previously only credited the Dolphins with. And, you know, it's one thing to predict that kind of potential. It's another to see it. In two weeks running, we've seen it. So, you know, throwing, you know, that kind of change. And uh, it, it just kind of falls into place for me. But, yeah, there's top four spots to me. I mean, they could just... You know, being just about anyone. I, I wouldn't have personally, you know, I would have absolutely kept the Panthers at four. Um, I'm not sure if we're seeing really a, a downward slide, maybe a little bit of inconsistency. I know you guys have, you know, changed a little bit of personnel recently, and, you know, that can happen, but I still think all four of those teams are top four material and can go in just about any order. Fair enough. I do want to point out something, if you don't mind, Sike. Um, and it's actually, it's actually kind of funny, you know, it's going back to why the Bills are ranked number one. You know, and I guess I'm speaking on behalf of why I rank them number one. Um, if you look, they're really the only team that consistently hasn't really, I guess you could say, hasn't had a problem with any other teams yet. I mean, yeah, they might have had some scores that were a little closer than what some thought they might have been. But, I mean, you know, still 35 and 40 point wins is still a pretty good win. Um, and you see if they've, hand they've handled pretty much every team they play. I mean, I think it's clear right now that, I mean, they do have a spot. You know, they're holding the spot right now. I think it's for theirs to take right now. Yeah, uh, and one thing that, to me, and I, I don't know, this will this will go a long way in, in solidifying, uh, you know, in my mind, they're you know, kind of like permanently where they're going to dwell in the top four because so far they've hovered anywhere from, you know, really the one to four spot um, is we haven't seen it. And I don't know, maybe we won't. Maybe they are that good, uh, but we haven't seen them come to, come to grips with a you know a difficult situation or you know a nail biter of a game uh or something that you know really tests the team's maturity uh you know on that that level and i'm not saying that they're they're an immature team i'm just saying we haven't seen that tested yet you know and it's fourth fourth quarter uh and the game is not in the lead but they're within one score or maybe you know they are in the lead but it is only by one score you know we haven't seen how exactly that team's going to react yet so i think that's something to keep an eye on all right so the elephant in the room and since y'all are not going to ask me about the drop i'm going to ask y'all about the stay in place I mean, are we watching the same Yellow Jackets team? Because we've got two of us have got them at five. The other two have got them at nine. So I'm going to go ahead and here defend the number five, please. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Hang on. Before you do that, before you do that, because we have been yapping away over here. I don't want to forget about little Blueberry over here. Pat, Pat. Hello, Blueberry. All right. So um, take a quick moment. If you have not IM'd Blueberry XX Resident, then uh, make sure you do that right now so you can give that away. Blueberry, have you been giving them away so far? How, how's the count looking? Are we, are, we, are we passing them out like hotcakes this week? We're, we're, we're going to see here. We have gifted over 20. Woo! That is awesome. Last week we, we hit, what, around 16 for the whole show? 
That is awesome. So we've already beat last week. So there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tell your friends, um, you know, get get those people out there. I'm telling you, they're going to be the talk of the stadiums this week. Look around whenever we're, we're streaming games this week and look in the crowd. See how many of those little uh, floaty balloons, that, that footballs that you see. And just know that, hey, you got one and they didn't if you see people running around without one. So get those IMs in to Blueberry XX Resident right now to claim your Blueberry UFL Power Ranking Show exclusive gift. All right, so there you go. I believe it was Dante and Durgan. So let's hear some defense of keeping the Yellow Jackets at number five. Okay, well, as far as keeping the Yellow Jackets at number five, it, once again, it's sort of the situation with the Warriors where you're kind of comparing their spot on the list to the other teams that are nearby. Um, you know, if the Yellow Jackets were to... And this is looking at my own personal rankings. I had it listed uh, Yellow Jackets, Eagles, Patriots, uh, Cowboys, Warriors. Um, you know, if, if the Yellow Jackets were to go ahead against the Eagles today, um, I believe the Yellow Jackets would win. If they were to go head to head against the Patriots, I believe the Yellow Jackets would win that. Um, it's more based on previous performance and waiting to see what they're capable of when they actually get to games that, that match them against those teams. Um, based on the previous performances, I believe that that's, you know, where they, uh, where they line up in the pecking order. That, that's a fair point, and, and to be fair, a lot of those um, mid-tier teams, I say mid-tier as far as where we've got them you know, ranked right now, mm-hmm. I, I think that we're going to have to see more action against the teams that we have in the upper tier, the top four you know, and five, to, to get a better feel if, if we don't have necessarily a head-to-head yet, to at least to see how they do in the other. I, I'll, I'll be honest, and I don't, I don't mean to sound overly critical, but the highlight of the Yellow Jacket season this year has been a seven-point loss to the Titans. They haven't been competitive at all against the Bills or the Dolphins. I mean, like, losses by over 50 points either game. I, I mean, like, I, to justify it, I did the same thing to us when we just got handled. I, I mean, I, I can't leave them justifiably so up there. When you've got a team like the Eagles last week that pushed us, you know, pushed us hard, had the, you know, the lead with two minutes to go in the first half, um, you know, and, and really hung around a long way uh, into that game, um, I can't justify putting the Yellow Jackets over that team when – They've they've just gotten just thrashed for lack of a better word in in two of their outings, and you know I don't know we we play them later in the season they might you know they might watch the show and then <laughs> take it out on us, um, but I just I feel like I've got to see a little bit more signs of life from that team against one of the perceived uh, top of the top and and, and you know, to be fair they right. entered the season with that perception you know I get I gave them as much. Uh, as much respect as I gave any team on that on the the UFL's roster this season, uh, and so far, I mean, I would have to say that's been one of my biggest disappointments as far as you know watching watching them play. I just don't think that I've seen the team that I perceived uh, at any point in the season from from them, other than like I said, the week one you know uh, week one fight they had with the the Titans. So that that was my reason for dropping them that low. You know, it's kind of like, come on guys, you got you got to show me a little something. Dre, you had right, him. At, I mean, you I, had him at nine too. What What were your thoughts on it? I, I was, you know, I was about to say, you know, just going back to what you said. I mean, based on the performances that they have had, and you know, seeing that, you know, uh, that pattern. Um, and I know, you know, you can't really. People will say you can't really judge it because you know they played the Titans, the Dolphins, the Bills. You know, they've pretty much had the hardest schedule of the season. I mean, we can all agree to that. Um, but you know, showing you know what they have showed, and then last week, you know, playing the Bills and then getting beat like that, it kind of hurt you know anything any chances they had so that 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 close game they had with the titans at the beginning kind of went out the window when they played the dolphins and then when they played the bills you know it kind of just went away right um, so i mean I, I think they need to find that momentum again that they had at week one you know and then show us you know come out the next week they play and show us and say hey look you know we're not a joke we're here to play you know we're going to turn this around and we're going to make something happen because right now it looks like it's going the opposite direction yeah, I mean, if you just compared the the first, I think, two weeks, you had the you know the last second, literally last second fight with the Titans, then you had the uh, the kind of the the blowout with the Dolphins, uh, and you weren't really sure which one you know was w- what's the real representation of this team. What is this team really you know what really what are they right? And then yeah. but then they follow it with the next you know elite competition they play, and it reminds you more of the Dolphins game than the Titans, and and all of a sudden it's like that. 
to me became the perception that maybe it was the week one that was more of the the outlier right. the one that was less representative of what they're really going to do and, and you know what they right. might they might completely make a mockery of, of my pick next week and go out i don't even i haven't even looked ahead yet to see who they got but they might thrash somebody so i don't you know i don't know all right, somebody else here. Anybody got a question? Actually, just to point on that, their next game is against the Warriors, so that's really going to show, um, you know, us here as the panel, and they're just going to show, you know, the fans and everybody else what's really what what they're really about. Because I would say that's probably a pretty evenly matched game. Um, it is, and, and I, I would say that's really going to that's going to really, you know, shake up the rankings, you know, depending on how the game goes. And, and I will say this too, even though it's week six. Um, because of, of, of their their record so far, it's almost a must win for the Yellow Jackets if they have uh, playoff hopes. Because, you know, as we mentioned, that there was that, that really that five-team group and only four of them are making it uh, on that side of the division, talking about the Panthers, uh, the Yellow Jackets, the Titans, the Bills, and then the Warriors. You know, there's, there's five teams there that are, you know, that, that we – for the most part, had picked as being the contenders in only four spots. So um, something's got to give, and so you've got to make, you know, position. We lost a, a lot of ground. You know, we had all that momentum coming off the Dolphins win, and then, you know, we dropped the game last night. So now all of a sudden, you know, we're going to have to prove that we need to be one of those four spots as well. So I'm not just putting, you know, all of this on the Yellow Jackets. The Warriors are in the same boat. You know, they've they've lost one. Um, you know, so they've got to uh, they got to do do another as well. Now, see, that's another head-to-head uh, against this, not against each other, but like if you compare the Warriors outing against the Bills to the Yellow Jackets against the Bills, there's no way I'd ever put the Yellow Jackets ahead, you know, of the Warriors. The Warriors was like 36 to nothing. The the Yellow Jackets just wasn't. Um, so I don't know. It's just more more of my thoughts as I was de- uh, developing. If there's anybody in the stream tonight that wants to post a question or pick somebody about why they rank somebody, all four of our panelists here are are targets for you. So. If there are any questions in that Twitch, just throw them out there, put who it's to, or if you just want to ask the question in general, one of our hosts here will see the question and pick it up. I can't do it because I'm streaming it. It would be kind of weird. So, um, so yeah, shoot those questions out there for sure. We want the feedback. And also, also, I just want to say, it wouldn't let me post the link for the uh, for the actual rankings in the, really? in the chat. So if anybody wants to see oh, it, it, yeah, it deleted the link. Uh, if anybody wants to see the rankings, how we rank them, and then the averages, I tell you what, if you can IM me, I'll just send it to you. Post it, it yeah, post. post it on the Facebook post under the thread that we've been talking about the um, the show. All right. So yeah. It's certainly interesting trying to you know trying to come up with a hierarchical ranking like you were saying because it's so much more complicated than just this team being better than this team. It's very much you know uh, the chemistry of putting two given teams in a match and how they react to each other is going to be completely different to how one of those teams will react to a completely different team. The play styles differ so much, how they, you know, clash. It's it's just so much more complicated than just trying to put them in order. Yeah, absolutely. And again, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up here in the next few minutes. We're going to give uh, viewers a chance to shoot a question, and then uh, and then we'll be gone here. So if you, you're running out of time um, right now, if I can get my camera centered, there we go. Uh, right now, this is our UFL Stats gift corner for the Power Ranking Show. Um, the, her name is on the screen right there. I am Blueberry XX resident right now to claim that floating gift. Uh, it, it'll beat the heck out of those lawn chairs that, that people are sitting on. Uh, these little footballs will get you around. You can you can float. You can kind of just coast over to the, uh, to the bar area at the... Um, at the UFL Stadium and get you something uh, to, to drink or, or eat over there. So, yeah, Blueberry XX Resident running out of time for that limited edition UFL Power Rankings Blueberry exclusive. Boy, that's a mouthful. Love it. And like I said, I mean, these things, they travel well in groups. We've got Kyrie and Arwen over there. They're just chilling. I wonder if we could talk them into to micing up and guesting one time. We need to that that'd be a thing. We need to we need to have a female guest picker. Put her on the spot. So there you go out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be a guest picker, please feel free to contact one of us. We're picking, but for the most part we take volunteers too. And we do have room for a second guest, so we could we could really fill up the show one week or more than one week if you wanted to. Have we got any questions from the audience so far? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. All Get right. The questions in, man. I know here. you got something you want to ask us. I know you got something you want to ask us. Right. This is the most That's watched, cool, the most watched UFL original media content show. 
So yes, it is. It's bite-sized. <laughs> you can be, you can be in, watch it, and be done. Yep, yep. Which to keep right. it bite-sized. Uh, oh, we got one. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. I had a question for uh, Dante actually. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> I had to. Like, I just got to go get ahead. Out. Me. <laughs> Dante, why did you, uh, why did you rank the Patriots down so far at number nine? Uh, opposed to you know everybody else had him at seven, and uh, oh. and then I think Sykes put him at eight. My honest opinion was dudes, my ranking of them was based off of the game we had played them on. You know we had played them I guess with the week before, and then seeing them again, you know I just I guess not really seeing what I kind of expected out of them this season. Kind of expecting them to see a little bit more explosiveness from the team, and I haven't really. Uh, been too impressed by their performance. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, if you're yeah. watching out there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you about one more minute, and then we got to bring this week's edition to a close. While you're doing that, though, i got a question for Dante, and it is in relation to the Bills, but it's not in relation to right. football Bills. It's like, can I borrow some money, dude? Look at that stack of Bills he's over there holding like a <laughs> straight-up baller. Oh, man. Yo, I got you. I got you. Hit me up after the show, man. How much you need? Gold chains, like, fat, yeah, you don't have one? fat stacks. I, I mean, don't have one. Really? Uh, see where? Oh my gosh! Look at this. I I need to. My agent no, is fired. <laughs> my agent is I fired. Out, Dante Dante did come on the show like he was some rapper who just hit it big. I'm and telling I, you. You know, you know, you know, I know I do. <laughs> Check my mixtape out. Right. Yeah. We got we got young Dante right here. His rap name. Tipsy so oh so arrogant. <laughs> oh, oh my so god. Hashtag. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Gentlemen, check check that Twitch one more time and see if there are any questions, and then we're going to go ahead and sign off. Last right, chance. I do actually got one question. Got one question just came in. All right. Uh, actually came in my box uh, from Rico Quartz. Uh, she was was curious about the fine line between the Bulldogs and the Cobras. Uh, why are we flip flopping them back and forth? I'll I'll tell you. I can answer yeah. why I am. Um, performance is one thing. Actually, getting to play is another and right now the Bulldogs just have not inspired me with their ability to get players to a game um, so and, and, and pretty much on that alone was the deciding factor for me uh, if they lined up against the Cobras with four people um, that game is a forfeit and the Cobras win you know plain and simple so until I get more of an actual on field representation I just don't trust them enough to put them much higher than, than where they are okay yeah, I, I, I agree I mean, yeah, yeah it's it's kind of let down this weekend, you know. Obviously, going against a team like the Dolphins, you're not expecting like a, a huge performance there. But you know, we saw them move effectively on the Cobras uh, a couple weeks back, and I would have given their developing game as I saw it there, just from how it evolved in that game alone, a shot at the Packers, maybe the Mustangs and Falcons. Uh, but it seems like you know, right as they were breaking back out after their first forfeit, bam, there's another one. Right. And whatever potential you have just becomes zero, and you can't put a team on the field. I still want to right. for him, but yeah, you're right. We do have to see something tangible again. Yep. So that's that's Dante, my reason. Touch on it. Well, no, I'm just it's more so with uh, Psych and Durkin said. You know, they haven't had the ability to field players and have already had what two forfeits this season. So it's kind of hard to really want to give them that push, and they're not really showing why. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, the reason why I did oh. rank them above the Cobras is because they played head to head. Uh, they beat the Cobras 28 to zero. Uh, that's why I done that. Um, my next question is coming from. I mean, I got two questions here. All right. um, yeah, Kimmy that. Pons uh, from the Twitch World wants to know if there is two teams for second, then isn't all the other teams ranked a little higher? Uh, actually, I could take the answer to this one. No, that would actually push them down a ranking because you would lose the third ranking, and you would start at four after the two teams are tied at two. Yeah, right. We had no one at third. Right. There was no third there place no because we had two twos, but yet the next team in line is the fourth team that's ranked. So that's why there's no number three two people occupy the two spot so uh you know that that is the second and third team that was ranked even though they were both ranked at the second place so there is no third spot it would jump all the way to fourth all right our third question coming in is actually for our guest speaker today uh-oh dollar dollar um, bills uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> right <laughs> hashtag oh so arrogant dante <laughs> ofaroak um <laughs> I think I know it's actually an anonymous this. question. Um, why are the Bills ranked number one when their safety gets small so much? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a feeling this was was asked by a Bill. Uh. 
Hashtag I got cooked. That's all I got to say. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's going to bring us to a close um let me throw blueberry up there one more time um she'll probably be here for a few minutes after the show passing out those balloons how many are we up to now blueberry are we still sitting at 20 or have they kept coming in we passed 30 so I oh my gosh i don't even know how to act right it's the best news i've had all weekend no really <laughs> it really was all right so ladies and gentlemen Keep them coming. Keep those IMs coming. 30, that is amazing. Over 30, she said. So uh, keep IMing. You know, we'll be here. We usually hang around and talk uh, for a few minutes after the show. So keep those IMs coming in. Um, gentlemen, I'll let you say your goodbyes, and then I will click it. It's been a pleasure for me, and I will see you all here next week. Take it away, y'all. I just wanted to say shout-out to everybody who watched. We do appreciate it, and thank you all for making uh, the Blueberry Power Ranking Show um, the number one watch show on a Twitch channel. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. Durgan and Artunian signing off. Dante? I just want to give a, give a shout-out to Dre, Psych, and Durgan for having me on the show this week. I appreciate it. You know, I, I like watching this show, so uh, thank you for having me. Anytime, my man, anytime. It was a pleasure having you. All right, guys, yeah. that is all of us. I believe I'm not missing anybody, am I? All right. I would have felt bad if I was like, all right, that's everybody. Like, wait, you didn't let me go. So, all right, y'all, it's been a pleasure. We will see y'all here next week at about the same time. Signing off. This is Psych. Later. <laughs>